Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name's Amy if you're new here and today I'm at a stitch to wear clothes swap. I've just handed in my pieces and I've got 24 points. So basically things that are like higher quality, funkier brand, uh, get you more points. Um, I'm here with Hannah. Hello. Hannah is also vlogging so you can watch it from her perspective too. <laughs> um, but let's have a look around. I didn't ask for your opinion. I kind of love it. It's pretty. So I've already picked up a couple of pieces and put them in this bag that I also want to buy from them. Um, I'm seeing people with my items. It's making me feel the good in my heart. It's my dress. It's got my dress. Um, I just ran back to the car and dropped off my big bag because I didn't really feel like I needed a big bag and it's taking up too much room. Um, it's really cute. Let me show you around a little bit more. Hannah, what's that item on the end? It looks really cool. Oh wait, it's a skirt. I just don't need it. <laughs> it's this beautiful top shop number. It's, wow. Um, from spring summer 2015. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Um, I've already taken something that was Hannah's. Um, that's cute. Well, ASOS number. 12. Too small. Hannah's got a glass of Prosecco. Ooh. We love this, but it's an extra small from Zara, so not for us, but we love it. Just getting some pics in front of the start. And this is the outside of it, if anyone is wondering. Just very cute. Just wave, just wave. <laughs> no, no, there you go, it looks great. This. Describe what we're trying on. <laughs> on a vintage classic with added bulge. Yeah, the bulge. <laughs> the bulge is included. <laughs> it's okay. I love this dress over here actually, but it's a size 20, so it'd be a little bit too big for me, but I do really like it. Um, it's getting a lot busier. So it's every hour more people will be coming, so the stock will be changing sort of every hour. Okay, so we're just having a little break. The next round of people are going in now, so in a minute there'll be like a lot more stuff. So we're kind of rooting around everything that's in there at the moment. Um, I've picked up two things. I actually put back the dress that I'd got because I tried it on and it was just giving mum vibes and I wasn't keen on it. So I've got Hannah's top and a tote bag and that is all I've got um, so far. But hopefully this new load of people will have a whole new load of stuff that I want to buy. We're just having a little try on set. Me and Hannah are slumped on the sofa. We're just trying on some bits. Woohoo! <laughs> the pile. I thought you were saying something then. No, you went, oh, just, just I'll tell the vlog what happened there. This person, and she was just like, oh yeah, did you donate this? And I turned around and was like, oh no. And then, oh, it was really awkward. And I fully replied. And she was talking to her friend. <laughs> and Hannah was laughing at me and we had to walk away because it was too awkward. <laughs> Have you found it in the pocket? <laughs> I'm scared. Right, okay. I'm Okay. Amy, what do you think is in the pocket? Tampon. I think con no, not a condom. That's too um, funny. A mini bullet vibrator. <laughs> 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 that was not what I was going to say. <laughs> there is two. <laughs> that was so low down on my list. <laughs> that may be the one thousand yeah, thing. It was on the list. <laughs> Really stressful. <laughs> yeah. So me and Hannah decided we were going to, as we still got like two hours after the swap, we were going to go for some food and then come back for the last like half hour and look at the last bits. Anyway, so I tried to find my little card to swap to pay, and um, my purse wasn't there. And I remembered that when I ran back to the car, someone was yelling like "hello." Now he obviously was just a creepy man because <laughs> like, it's just a creepy man. So I didn't respond because I was scared. Um, but I thought, oh my gosh, I've dropped my purse. It was terrifying. Luckily, it was in the bag that was in the car. <laughs> it was stressful, but we're fine. We're gonna walk back now, get the stuff, and then go for some well-deserved food. That was stressful for a second there. It was starting to rain a little bit. I put back in my jacket. <sighs> okay, so we finished the swap. We're now just popping into some charity shops. Let's see what we can find. Hello, so I'm back from the clothes swap. 
that drive was absolutely fine. It was only an hour and 10 minutes. But you know, when you're like absolutely exhausted. I honestly thought at some point I was gonna fall asleep. But I didn't, obviously, because um, I've made it back. So I thought I'd show you what I got from the swap. I did only pick up a couple of pieces. I'm still trying to do my very good only buying things I really love and really kind of, like need rather than just buying or just swapping stuff for the sake of it. I much prefer people have and love my stuff um, and I come out with a couple of bits rather than some bits I don't need. Um, so the first thing I got was this play suit um this is originally i think a h&m jobby it's actually still new with tags and it was originally 20 pounds so that's really good and it's just this little play suit i'm really hoping this fits i haven't tried on anything i got yet but i think it's gonna be really really sweet for holiday and i just think it's really really pretty i love the pink and the red and there is a little snapper if i want to kind of snap it up or if i want to have it more open and low cut i can do that so that is the first thing i swapped Next thing I got was this gorgeous monsoon dress. I thought this would be good for my new job if I haven't stopped banging on about it. But I just think this looks really sweet and it's a nice kind of a work dress. Um, I feel like if I want to look a little bit more professional one day, but also still want to be wearing a dress, this is something I could go for. And I'm really excited for this. I'm hoping, like, in my head, I look like a professional businesswoman in this and it's a vibe. So I'm really hoping it is a vibe. As I said, this is originally monsoon and this one is in a size 16 then i got this tote bag not that i need another tote bag but i saw this thought this is really fun and i mean i say i don't need another tote bag but i feel like can you have enough also when i go out with like my friends and stuff i'm always the one that brings all the tote bags um so that everyone pinches off of mine and um, i feel like for the big essex thrift trip i want to have spare totes just in case um people need them so this one just says i didn't ask for your opinion it's by skinny dip and it's just this pink and red one and you guys know pink and red is my vibe and I know this is completely extra but I am starting to try and match my tote bags up with my um, outfit so I have this one I have a black one I have a green and white one they're kind of my totes that are kind of I don't know a different color rather than just the beige ones so I am trying to have my outer tote bag with the tote bags inside it matching my outfit somewhat and this really would match all my pink and red outfits and i have got a lot of them so i think this is really cute but hannah did try and reality check me into not getting that she's like amy you don't need another tote bag but here i am the next thing i got was actually hannah's originally so i swapped with hannah and actually she got some of my dungarees so actually we did really swap it's originally by a brand called g and b and it's in size l slash xl and it's just this really cute gray top now as you guys know gray is not normally my color however i think this is dark enough gray that i can get away with it but what drew me to this and what made me want it it was pizzazz look at them sleeves Hannah says sometimes she just sat and stroked these sleeves because they're so soft and I can confirm they are literally one of the softest things I've ever felt. Um, so I think this would be really, really cute. I could even layer this or just wear this with some jeans, some nice trousers. I actually got some red trousers from Haven's Hospices the other day. Um, I think this would look really, really cute with them. So I thought that was gorgeous. And then the final thing is the lovely people at uh, Stitch to Wear gifted me this tote bag. I will leave the seller, this is Danny's tote bag brand, so I will leave this down below. Super, super, super cute. Um, and it's full of some goodies. So that is the last thing I got. So I came away with two tote bags. This is the dream. I bloody love a tote bag. I feel like in my future house, I want to just have a wall of tote bags. So at this point, I could probably make a wall of tote bags. So that is everything I picked up. Definitely go and follow a Stitch to Wear on Instagram so you're up to date on when their next events are. I know they do quite a few and I know they have got one coming up in April, I believe. Um, so definitely check them out. It's such a good vibe in there. Everyone's buzzing. Everyone's shopping, swapping clothes. And it's just like such a lovely little atmosphere. I met so many people I've spoken to on Instagram for ages. So it was so, so nice to finally meet them in real life. And I think I'm meeting a lot of them again on the Big Essex Swift trip, which is coming around so quickly. And I'm just so, so excited for it. It. but hope you enjoyed this little vlog come haul if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment what your favorite item was down below subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you in my next one bye